So I would totally get up and walk to my chair and my desk to do this, but I'm not wearing any pants. So um, let's just get right into this, I guess. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the behind the scenes of playing a gig or doing a concert because that's something I've yet to do. You know, I've shown you what it's like to do like a band concert or an orchestra, like um, a symphonic band concert where you dress up in a tux and you play trombone or another classical instrument uh, with the whole ensemble. But what I did yesterday is a little bit different and that is played a solo gig. There were a couple of people and I was one of them to perform at this concert. So I wanna show you what that's like. And it all starts with emptying your pockets. <laughs> So today, I am playing a gig. I'm playing a concert of sorts, so I need to look a little bit more professional for that, so let's just get that out of the way real quick here. Um, like, there we go. Way more professional now. Jeans, my boots. Now I have to say, playing a gig is a lot like a really nice date. Like, I imagine maybe my 25th wedding anniversary would be a lot like a gig because you you get in the clothes that you think suit you the best you have to get tons of stuff ready there's a lot you have to get ready and that's basically sunglasses Nathan very very important at a concert sunglasses sunglasses the reason I'm wearing them now is because these lights I don't know if you guys can see them or you can tell these lights I have one two three really bright lights they are incredibly blinding super bright and it helps me get a good image in my video but the reason you might want sunglasses for a concert is honestly pretty similar to this if you have sun right in your face the concert was right at sunset if you have sun right in your face you're gonna have a hard time seeing your music so being able to protect your eyes just from that constant beating of the sun during a concert is gonna be key um, also it looks cool I mean come on like this or or this like which one honestly singing like this or singing like this like it's just a no-brainer sunglasses make the world go around I'm actually reading somewhat of a script here by the way just so you guys know and then the stuff that I'm giving away I'm not giving away the tablet that's what I use for it's incredible how few people I suspect would believe that a musician who writes a song would have trouble remembering their own lyrics. Did that make any sense? I must have written a hundred songs, some of which are more prominent than others, but man, when you're when you are playing a concert, you want to have the words in front of you. Now it is a, a bit of an exception. I've played at some churches and I chose to memorize the music so that I could have a more intimate connection with the crowd. But again, I don't talk about that sort of stuff, so let's just keep on plowing through the video. Give me your best riff for the camera, my dude. I don't know. Um, Is he a mix? That's riff. I mean, I can do like. Okay, yeah. Is that you? You write that? That's John Mayer. John, okay. I don't know a ton of songs. No. What year are you? I'm a sophomore. So I'm like... Those four musicians sound great together. They're all really, really, really good. The guitar player is great, the cajon player is great, the other guitar player is great, and the singer is great. They sounded awesome, and it was honestly kind of tough to follow them because they were playing all these pop songs that people knew. It was a really fun environment. So what I did is I decided to change the mood. In fact, this is something I want to talk about just a little bit more. When I was a freshman in high school, I played a gig called Battles of the Band. So this was almost seven years ago. And I, I made this group and we played a song called Hazy. You may have heard it. I don't really know how popular it is. But we played this song called Hazy. <laughs> the band that went before us, the band that went before us, was this insane rock band. It was like the famous band that draws in everyone. We were the second act, they were the opening act. They played this crazy rock song, their own song, 
bunch of the people that were in attendance knew it because they came to see these people. And then we get up on stage, you know, two guitars, piano player, and a female singer, and that's it. The song is hazy. I watched you sleeping. You know that song? Quietly in my bed. You know what? No? Okay. Super chill song. And so I get up there, and I'm pretty nervous. I'm thinking to myself, well, crap. How are we ever going to follow that? And so I said, here's what I said. All right. Now to take things in an entirely different direction. And I didn't have the articulation that I do now as a senior in college, so it probably was something more like, and now to take things in a totally different direction. Something more like that, you know? <laughs> but you'd be incredibly surprised. Um, afterwards, the leader of that intro act came up to me and said, hey, I loved what you said, that you were just taking it in a whole different direction, and you just acknowledged that and you owned it right up. He told me, let's get together and jam sometime. I'll shoot you a message on Facebook. Uh, he never did that, but it was still great to hear that. Sorry, went off the script there for a minute. Let's get back on it. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. And so I proceeded to play some original music. And I'll just insert a little snippet. I don't want to show you guys all of it because I'm not sure that you would like this music. This is like my personal music, not my YouTube music. They're kind of differentiated, so I'll just put in a little snippet. Thanks guys, okay, so. And so I played for 30 minutes and it was actually kind of ironic because it was the 30 minutes that it gets dark. As you guys can see in this video. But my true emotion is so confused. Why can't I talk to you? Finally, it was the end of the Thank concert. Oh, the other thing, always plug. From that night, I, I did a giveaway. I gave away an album, a signed pair of drumsticks, as well as a $25 Target gift card. I got 20 subscribers that night just by doing that giveaway. Speaking of which, giveaway coming soon on this channel, Amazon gift card, $10. Check it out, see I'm plugging. You gotta plug as a musician. I, I'm a YouTuber, I make videos about music. You might like them, so yeah. Thank you, you've been a great audience. And then that was it. That was the concert. Um, it was a lot of fun to get to play my own personal music for some people that really, really appreciated it. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to watch the next one and subscribe and like and do all that good stuff that good people do. I will talk to you guys later. Um, let's see, a new sign out. Keep on gigging it. <laughs> oh wait, I can't, I can't stand up and walk away. I don't got any pants on.